Okay. Hey there, Crystal Covington here, founder of Women of Denver, talking with one of our wonderful members. Her name is Nancy McKay, and we are having a conversation we just needed to record. And right now she's been discussing with me and trying to explain to me the intuit the in intuition that horses have. And I think it's just a really cool topic to discuss. She does something really wonderful with people, which is equine co uh, coaching. And I've been on a horse in the past. I love horses, but I never really understood this really interesting connection that they have. And I love to, you know, just have everybody get to understand a little bit more from Nancy about what that looks like. So Nancy, tell us about the experience and what kind of repeat what you were just sharing with me about the intuition that horses have. Sure. Well, horses are, as I said earlier, just so intuitive and they mirror back to us what we're feeling or our energy. And so when I'm working with clients in a round pen, which is about a 60 foot diameter um, round uh, kind of fenced area, uh -huh. the horse and the client are in there together. And what I ask the client to do is to get grounded and really feel into their body and think about what their, you know, biggest struggle is at the time. Yeah. And so when they are able to sink into that and get into their authentic energy, then the horse gives them positive feedback. The horse will come up to them. They will want to join up with the, with the client. There's no riding involved. And so, so the horse just comes up and, and starts to really pay attention and want to hang out with the, with the human. Yeah. Because they're herd animals, they want to join up. So if there's no horses around, the next best thing is a human. So they'll join up and then there's this wonderful communication and you can, you know, you can just really get to the, the depth of what is causing your struggle and the horse amazingly helps you figure it out. And so between the questions that I ask the client and the feedback that the horse gives them, mm -hmm. it's a really effective coaching tool. And, um, and I'm so excited to have it in my tool bag. <laughs> you yeah. know, this little nice horse I think it's <laughs> in my most, tool bag. <laughs> it's the most unique toolbox item I've ever seen. I know, right? Not everybody <laughs> has a horse in their toolbox. <laughs> right. And I know we're in Colorado, but I know there's a lot of people that move here and they've probably never seen a horse in person. So I was lucky to be. I was in a small town growing up. And so it was common for teachers to take us on field trips to ranches. My parents weren't oh, ranch cool. people. <laughs> How but, fun. Yeah. So I know that I feel like a horse is a humongous beast. And, you know, it's one of those things that almost causes a little bit of timidness in it of itself. And so right. for me, it was the first time I remember being on one. I was so clenched up and nervous. And I know right. that just kind of being around that changes your environment. I remember being in coaching previously. I've only had a couple coaches mostly years back, but I remember them trying to teach me things like change perspective and they would have me like go in this room and go in that room and how do you feel? And, mm -hmm. and I can only imagine changing your environment up that much where you're literally standing next to a, a horse and outdoors and I feel like that would contribute quite a bit to just having a change of environmental perspective and being able to explore more and get away some of the, I know that there's a lot of distractions sometimes. So okay. it just sounds like a really ideal, um, really connected environment to be in. It is, you know, being out in nature combined with being with this magnificent animal is just, um, it's really, it's really exquisite. And, you know, there's, there's something about, um, well, whenever I'm with a horse and I didn't grow up with horses, I just, um, 
started getting interested in this about four years ago. And what I found was that my physical responses slowed down. I mean, my, my blood pressure, I could just feel myself relax yeah. in the presence of a horse, you know, and it, I, I didn't have any fear. And yet, you know, people talk about um, horses can sense your fear. Well, horses can sense any kind of energy around. And so if you're afraid of them, yeah, they will pick that up. But that doesn't make them, uh, it, it would probably, you know, send them to the other side of the round pen if they felt that you were afraid of them. You know, they just wouldn't connect with you. Yeah. Um, but it's just, it's so magnificent. The, the, what happens to your energy when you really allow yourself to be authentic. Yeah what it does is it shows you how your energy affects those around you. Yeah. And so when you know that your energy is, is affecting this horse and how they respond to you, then it's like, Oh, well, I wonder, I wonder if my kids pick up on my energy. I wonder if my husband picks up on my energy, yeah. you know? And so it really brings home um, what we're, you know, what we send out into the universe. So that. yeah, that's a unique, um, a unique kind of homing device to kind of, kind of notice those kinds of things we talk about in our household. It's almost like we apologize if we know we have bad energy. It's like, look, I'm sorry for the bad energy I'm bringing in this room. I'm going to walk away and get it together. But, you know, not everybody even realizes or, you know, recognizes the energy that they have coming off of them. And sometimes we think we're, we're fine, right. but it's, it's, you know, other people can sense it and you can kind of look for at least other people have been trained not to respond to it. We're, we're not authentic with each other, but yeah. animals, I mean, the horse is going to be real with you. The horse is like, look, you're not right. It's not right. Yeah. <laughs> right. And they don't have any judgment. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, they, they're, they're like, you know, if you can, you know, if you're honest with them, they're going to be honest with you back. And then, and then they don't have an agenda, you know, so it yeah. doesn't matter to them one yeah. way or the other, right? They just, they want to join up with you if you are authentic. Otherwise, you know, not so much. Yeah. But they, you know, you can spill your guts to the horse and the horse doesn't care what you're laying on them. They, they take it, they accept it, they let it go and they move on. You know, it's just, meanwhile, you're getting all of this stuff out of your system. Yeah. And the, the, you know, the times that I have worked as a participant with the horse, not, and, and even with the coach, I mean, it, being, being a coach, it, it also is incredibly transformative, but being on the client end of it, you know, the transformation that I've gone through as a result has been amazing, you know, and things come up and you go, oh, I didn't realize I had that going on, you know, and, and then you, you deal with it. It's amazing. It's just, you know, the, the, the women that I've worked with in the round pen have just, you know, everyone has, talks about how transformative it is and it it truly is it's just magnificent I love that I'm sold so how can <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> how can everybody who's sold want reach out to you and just learn a little bit more and connect on you know talking about the process of trying something like this yeah well the best thing to do is just set up a a, a call with me um, a discovery call okay. and then we can decide which you know, what kind of, um, you know, package you want to work with. So um, that would just be on my website, amazingoutlookcoaching.com okay. forward slash discovery. And they can just do that. And that'll click them into my scheduling calendar and so on and so forth. Or they can send me an email, whatever. And that's nancy at amazingoutlookcoaching.com. 
Perfect. The question that just popped up was what, um, where, where is it located? Where do, uh, where do folks? Well, I have a, a few different facilities that I work with. Oh, okay. One is in Parker. Oh. One is in Evergreen. And that's, that's um, the one in Parker is all outdoors. So that's weather permitting. The one in Evergreen is we have an indoor arena there. And so if the weather is crummy, um, that can work. And then I also have another outdoor facility in Sedalia if um, somebody's, someone's in the south part of, um, you know, down by Sedalia or yeah. Castle Rock, that sort of area. Awesome. So you have a few yeah. different spots. Perfect. Mm -hmm. See, well, thanks for yeah. sharing a little bit, letting me show off a little bit of what you do and tell well, people. Thank you something. so much. I really appreciate the opportunity. And I'd be happy to offer the women of Denver community a discount. 10% um, off of a single session or 20% off of the package. So. Ooh, that's good stuff. Okay. Well, I didn't yeah. know that was coming. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little dirty. I get, I was like, oh, I didn't know we we're getting discounts. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time and for sharing. Oh, thank you. Know. Um, I hope lots of people reach out. So I hope to see you soon, Nancy, at, at, yes, at one of our upcoming meetings. Yes, I definitely will be. <laughs>